my name is Floyd. I was born in Nong Thaburi. It's a city that not far from Bangkok. The quality of our durian is very good. Many people came to buy our durian in the past, and most of the time, we don't have enough durian to sell. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I lost a lot of my buyers, and I don't know how to sell my durian. And it was a really difficult time for me and for everyone as well, I think. Mm, but one day I have seen a live streaming video. I found that many people, they sell products online. I got that idea. Maybe it's an opportunity for me to sell my durian. Although the COVID-19 pandemic has slowed down the growth of the real economy, more and more people realize the value of the internet. In 2021, the number of internet users in Southeast Asia increased to 440 million, and traffic within Southeast Asia reached 467 trillion, with a compound annual growth rate of 40%, of which video traffic accounted for 80%. Now e-commerce live streaming is blooming. Everyone's life easier, business is even better than before the pandemic. And our buyers come from all over Asia. My family and I are happier. Cross-regional data synergies expand the farmer's sales scope and create more possibilities for everyone. I'm an office employee and casual game playing is a great way for me to relax after a long day at the office. I decided to work as a team with my friends. They are in Malaysia and Indonesia and although we do not reside in the same region, on weekends we still often engage with one another in friendly matches. Playing games necessitates low latency on the network. We will notice a difference if the delay is more than 50 milliseconds. The ability of the competitors is not only the criteria that determine the winner of a competition. Sometimes the outcome of a competition might be determined by the difference of only one millisecond. Players that compete professionally in esports can identify the difference caused by more than 30 milliseconds of latency. By 2021, the number of online game players reached 250 million in Southeast Asia. The compound annual growth rate is expected to be 8.5% from 2022 to 2027. Cross-regional multi-user synergies require a cross-regional network with ultra-low latency, eliminating distance restrictions on game experience and creating huge growth opportunities for the game market. Tomo 研发中心进行云端合作及售后服务全价质量数字化协同的关键基础 In 2021, 1.72 million vehicles were produced in Thailand, of which 960,000 were exported, an increase of 30.35% compared to 2020. Cross-regional multi-cloud synergies require a more reliable and secure internet connection to digitally match the manufacturing industry's supply and demand and supports the industry's cross-regional collaborative development. With a young demographic, steadily increasing internet penetration, and strong manufacturing sector growth, Southeast Asia's digital economy market reached a scale of 150 billion US dollars in 2021, 
and is expected to reach 700 billion to 1 trillion US dollars by 2030. 面向未来五年，东盟行业数字化高速发展需求 ，CMI 作为亚洲领先的跨国电信和数字化服务运营商，致力于成为亚洲 To B 数字化业务的领导者，为 To B 业务提供最优质的服务体验。CMI 拥有领先的 ICT 基础资源，覆盖亚太二十二个国家和地区，实现三十五个城市、六十一个 POP 点快速接入。CMI 有能力为东盟区域行业数字化连接提供超大容量、超低延时的高安全可靠的极致体验。无论是电商、游戏还是制造行业，一张先进的 ICT 基础网已经成为构建数字经济的基础。CMI 作为亚太数字化领导者，我们将携手华为打造一张面向未来十年的超宽全光高速网络。有机会采用四百 G 超高光速和 Super C Plus L 超宽技术，单纤容量最大一百 T， 满足未来海量数据的流量需求。同时，我们也即将广泛地采用先进的 O X Z 全光交换技术，满足东盟区域超低时延的连接需求。此外，通过先进的网络保护和安全加密算法，为企业的核心数据保驾护航。依托先进的网络，让每个区域、每个企业和每个人都能够享受到数字经济发展的红利。